Here's a few things you're going to need to get your chow chow started. Uh, you're going to need 10 pounds of green tomatoes. You're going to need 5 pounds of onions and a quarter cup of salt. Uh, we're going to wash the tomatoes and slice the um, rounds of the tomatoes about a quarter of an inch. And onions, I uh, usually peel them cut in half and do also um, quarter inch uh, slices and mix this all together. Then add your salt and let it set overnight. And in the morning, you would drain this water off because what it will do is bring up the water in the tomatoes. So drain this off and pour it in your roaster. And why we use a roaster is that will um, it'll cook off the sugar a little quicker, and um, uh, actually it'll um, take less time to make these preserves. Actually, cooking time. So in the morning when you are, have your tomatoes and onions in your pan, you're going to need a cup of pickling spice. You're going to need six cups of sugar, two, three, uh, cup, two, three cups of vinegar, uh, and let's get that started. And what I normally do is put my bottles in the oven at uh, 180 degrees. I put my lids and my covers in a pot on the stove, and I once I see the heat coming on the tomatoes, I turn my oven on and get my pots uh, lids nice and hot and simmering so when it is close to the final part of the cooking everything's ready to go. So I'll walk you through step by step on how this process is done and I hope you like the video. You um, can see by the different tools that I use that necessarily it's nice to have the mason jars but if you don't have them you can just use regular bottles. Good luck with your recipe and I hope you find this useful. Back to the basics with Kathy, thanks. Hi, today we're going to be making chow chow. So I've got my pickle and spice sugar and my vinegar, my recipe. Over here I have my pots, sorry about that. I have pots, my bottles, cheesecloth, tongs, wooden spoon, and plastic wrap. So I'll get the tomatoes and the onions out here and we'll get going on this. So I just kind of slice the onions about a quarter of an inch and this is roughly how I go with that. So they're all kind of like a quarter of an inch, not too big. And my tomatoes aren't real big so I'm just going to cut those also, like I said, in a quarter inch rounds because they'll cook and break down quite a bit. So there we go. So here's our tomatoes and onions all in the pot and ready to set overnight. So we'll get up in the morning and we'll drain these off and get going. This is a probably good if you're working all day. It's a good project to do in the on the weekend. Uh, if not, you can do it in the evening. Uh, plan to cut it the night before, and it's all right. It will sit uh, until you can get it going after supper. Okay, we're going to get started. We're going to add the sugar. Six cups. We'll have three cups of vinegar, one cup of pickling spice. So here I have my pickling spice and my cinnamon, so I'm just going to dump my pickling spice on my cheesecloth here. This will make it the size of a small orange, a good size orange. I'm going to put a couple teaspoons of cinnamon in here too. There we go, and the cinnamon's added, and we're going to tie this up. Not a lot of people tie it. I like to uh, string it off. That way, I'm ensured that uh, nothing's going to come loose in the recipe. And my trusty favorite thread is dental floss, so I just kind of use it, to, and I just wrap it around, and eventually I just tie it off. So, as you can see, this is a good size bag. And I'll just trim the excess cloth off and I'll stick I'll that in. in here so you can have a look. But uh, you can see the onions are kind of transparent looking. So what I'll do is I'm going to add, uh, I have flour and water here and salt in my container. I'm going to give it a shake and add this to the tomatoes. I find it kind of thin, the, it's really liquidy. Uh, the water's running right off the spoon in a quite a fast pace. So we'll stir this in and finish this up. So as you can see, this is a little thicker too. It's not as runny as it was before. So I, I've just made a little uh, uh, funnel here. Add of a, so we're going to add the tomato uh, chow to the bottom. 
and we're going to bring it up to the, to the first ring. Well, it's been fun making the chow with you. I want to continue with the process and get this bottle. And be sure to like and comment and share my uh, video. And I hope you subscribe. Thank you.